What's up, Six Spider Freaks? Today we're going to be starting a series called Brown Recluse or Silly Goose, where we uh, go over different spiders and see if they actually are brown recluses or their relatives or not. And uh, this is the introductory video, so I really want to give you guys the information that you need to help identify whether a spider is a brown recluse or not. And as always, if you don't know what an animal is or a spider, don't touch it, just leave it alone, and you're better off that way anyway. So let's get into it. So the first thing to know about the brown recluse is actually uh, it's found in the southern United States up into the Midwest. There are six different species of recluse spiders found throughout the United States. And uh, particularly in California is what I'm going to be referring to for a lot of the spiders that I go uh, into depth about later on in the series. Uh, I'm actually from California, so what we get is Loxosceles deserta or the desert recluse. The first thing you're going to notice about any recluse species is that they are pretty small. They can only get to about three-eighths of an inch for their body length and about an inch at most for their leg span. Um, they're very small brown spiders, uh, hence the name brown recluse. Um, and they also have fine hairs on their abdomen, which can be colored cream to almost like a darkish brown. Something to note, their abdomen is not patterned in any way. It's just kind of plain colored all around, uniform colored. And same thing with the legs. You're not going to get any striping or any kind of patterns on the legs, and they're not going to have any large spines or fine hair or long hairs or anything. Another important thing to note is that although the brown recluse does have the violin shape on its carapace, not all recluse uh, species have that same violin. It's a little bit more faint, especially in the uh, uh, desert recluse. So it's not a, the best identifying feature, especially because there are other spiders uh, from different families that have that uh, violin shape as well. Another key identifying feature for the brown recluse and its relatives are the fact that it has six eyes as opposed to eight eyes and they're split into three pairs called dyads with two eyes on the right, two eyes on the left, and two in the middle. And again here with this picture you can see the violin shape that they're pretty well known for. So overall if you encounter a small brown spider that's kind of unassuming that doesn't have any special patterns and doesn't have any striping on the legs or on the abdomen and may most likely have a violin shape, then yeah, you probably do have a recluse. Remember, it has six eyes as well, but I'm not sure if you're going to be able to get that close to really see that. Um, another thing to note is that I'm not trying to fear monger with these spiders. They, they are venomous and they can in, uh, inflict a medically significant bite. But the chances of you getting bitten are extremely low and the chances of the bite getting necrotic are even lower. So again, it's not to spread fear, it's just to spread education and help you guys identify these spiders and other spiders as well that you may encounter. And like I said, the series is gonna really be more about uh, Southern California spiders, but the same principles can be applied to the other recluse species found throughout the United States. So I hope this helps you guys and uh, yeah, Stick around and we'll see if uh, these spiders are brown recluse or just a silly goose.